After Japan narrowly defeated Hong Kong in the final of the first leg of the Asia Rugby Seven Series, the tournament favourites were expected to find their form in time for the second leg. But host Korea had other ideas, running in three first-half tries and holding on for a 17-12 win over Japan in the final. As the series moves to Colombo for the ultimate leg, can Korea hold its nerve and capture one of the two World Cup places on offer? Hello and welcome. With two events in the books, the Asia Rugby Seven Series moved to the seaside capital of Colombo. Sri Lanka continues to modernise at a breakneck pace, with luxury hotels and high-rise condominiums visible up and down its beautiful southern coast. But there remains a discernible British influence in the country. The recent influx of tourists can easily navigate the terrain in the English language. Pubs and parks alike bound with the sound of cricket ball on bat, and there remains, after more than 100 uninterrupted years, a vibrant rugby culture. History here in Sri Lanka has rugby in it interwoven all the way through, and we have now got three teams fighting for two places going to Rugby World Cup. It couldn't get any closer, could it? It's absolutely thrilling, as Bill McLaren would see. With only two places on offer in next year's Rugby Sevens World Cup in San Francisco, Korea did just enough in the first leg of the Asia Rugby Sevens series to remain in the hunt. A narrow 14-7 win over China in the third and fourth place playoff kept them within striking distance of tournament runners-up Hong Kong. Here we are going to go to the World Cup next year. 3위를 해야지 승산이 있으니까 모두 다한 마음으로 다 경기에 임한 것 같습니다. And then the magical run in Incheon that saw Korea roll past Hong Kong in the pool stage, dismantled China in the semi-final, and finally shocked the heavily favoured Japanese in the final, vaulting to Seoul's second spot on the series points table in the process. And so, with one event to play and two World Cup places in the balance, Japan and Korea were in the driver's seat. 어 일단 분위기도 많이 더 좋아졌고 선수들 사기도 많이 올라온 상태고 뭐 이대로 뭐 이대로만 하면 우리가 준비한 것만 열심히 하면은 충분히 이제 좋은 성적 거둘 수 있을 거라고 생각. For Japan. A top two finish will see them through regardless. Winning their pool on day one will be job one. However, Hong Kong sits as the number two seed in their pool and will be fighting for their World Cup lives throughout the weekend. There's still two or three teams that have got an opportunity to, to finish this off with uh, the qualifications, so we're not taking any team lightly. We'll, we didn't, uh, we didn't uh, perform in the final last in, uh, in Korea. So, you know, we've got parts of our game we need to work on as well. Hong Kong's best case scenario is a meeting in the semi final with Korea. A win there would lift Hong Kong even with Korea. And the tie break table would then favour Hong Kong with two head to head wins versus one defeat. I think uh, obviously we've got to have a good day one and um, you know, get some confidence in the day two is going to be huge. Uh, we're obviously behind Korea and behind Japan at the moment. Uh, the ideal scenario would be a first to meet Korea someday, time day two. Uh, and then whoever wins between us and Korea would be when it takes all, I suppose, because we both went to one in the head to head at the moment. The wild card in all of this are the hosts. Sri Lanka has performed poorly to date, but they're at home. They will love the hot and sticky conditions. 
and they have access to types of players that saw them through to a top two series finish last year. The boys, we've been, they've been training really well. So we've got a slight few changes from the South Korean team. So it's slightly stronger again, but in saying that, it's all about performance on the field. So boys are looking forward to it. Day one's matches set up the seedings for day two's quarterfinals, where Japan had a relatively easy time with China. Korea had a much more difficult game with the Philippines, finally putting them away in a 17-12 slugfest. Hong Kong, cognizant of falling under a tiebreaker regime, put up 50 unanswered points on Chinese Taipei. And Sri Lanka, secured its first semi-final spot of the series with a 22-5 win over Malaysia. So with World Cup places on the line, we're down to the last four. Men's semi-final action from the third and final event on the 2017 Asian Rugby 7 Series continues when we return. Welcome back to Colombo. The top two finishers from the 2017 Asia Rugby 7 Series will qualify for next year's World Cup in San Francisco. After a day and a half of action, it's crunch time. Japan's loss to Hong Kong in the group stage meant that they would face the top seed from Pool A, Korea, in the day's first semi-final. Kim Jong-min takes it through to the halfway. And his Back row partner from Kepco, Kim Hyung Soo, gives it up to the third man. These triplets from Kepco. Look like Lee Jung Kyu had some space on the outside. Takiri comes back at him. Going low is Nakano. And number one there just past the ball. Here goes Chang. Chang gets away. He's got one in front. He needs support. Kim's there. He pops it up. Ah, oh, beautiful work. Good support play from Kim Jong-min. It looked like he was way too deep to support Chang there. <coughs> Stalin goes quickly. Going high is Lee jun Kyu and can't pull him down. Diazawa. Here's one of the speed men, Nakano. Don't give this guy too much space. Takiri, they come in and the big man hand, two big men colliding. Hand carries on with his efforts. Toa Maxwell is the bell. Is that the bell already? Goodness me, seven minutes is flowing by. It's five all. Here comes Japan with the last chance to carry. That looked flat, maybe forward. No, Matt Rodden said it's okay. And Jaden Toa Maxwell brings it round for a crucial score on the bell. It's a quick heel. Away they come, they're getting easy meters here, and easy as that on the outside. Bolting down the sideline. After him is Nakano, he's gonna catch him. Great support from Lee Jai Bok. The skipper's gonna go in. Suguda Kasaki cannot catch him. There you go. There's the return. Straight from the scrum, 85 meters downfield. Perfect conditions. Oh, look at that. That's calm and cool and well organized. And it wasn't straight. And you're closing the gap. It has on the not line. been allowed though by Rodden. They've won a free kick for closing the gap. Unbelievable scenes here. 30 seconds left. Can the Korean defense hold out? Here comes Japan. There must be numbers on the outside here. Masahiro Nakano is going to seal this game for Japan. We've qualified for the Rugby World Cup, which is, which is great. It's one of our goals. Uh, undoubtedly, but you know we've still got a job to do today. We Hong Kong beat us uh, yesterday in pool play, so you know we want to go out on top. Um, but you know we we have we've ticked that box. Uh, Rugby World Cup, uh, the Hong Kong qualifier for the World Series, and also uh, getting Singapore on the World Series. So no, we're, we're happy with what we've done, but the job's not finished. Hong Kong could now guarantee itself Asia's second World Cup place with a win over Sri Lanka and the host spotted them an early 5-0 lead. Here's the skipper. 
Sorry, that's Richard Damapala back in the squad. Seb Bryan here working hard over the ball. Gets muscled off by Tisanyake. Now they go back down the middle. Bit of a no look. Unnecessary loop pass. Look at you, Cam Shing here. Well, he's read that like a book. An open book. Terrible vision from the Sri Lankans. Here we go. The pressure is immense. Hood takes it on a few. They're just four metres out. There's the try line, and he scampers round this little maestro, Jason Jayam. He's got pulled springs in them boots of his. One minute left in this first half. Already 19-0, the deficit. Look there, spotting the gap, boasting, ghosting through that gap now. Hood's after him. Can Hood catch him? He shows a bit of... But it's on Danushka Ranja, and there he is. We just mentioned his name. And he gets himself into the action. He's red hot, this man. Put now to Neville. Hugh's got a bit of gas on the outside. Take on Danushka Ranja, and he's beaten the local hero. He's in for two, Yu Kam Shing. He showed him the corner flag, did Ranja. And he gave the man probably two inches too many. Radwate. Now some space down here. Just JM to beat. The inside ball might be the one here. Lining him up is Disanyake. And Surya Bandara has timed his run nicely. And he's going to go under the post to throw a lifeline to Sri Lanka. The boys been excellent since Korea, since the display with Korea, we've trained the boys back home who are not, not with us to be fair, everyone's trained really, really hard for this and uh, well, the preparation has come off now, we got, we've got the final which was our first aim and uh, now it's going to be an all out shootout with, with Japan again, so uh, we, we did it yesterday, it's a totally different story today, the conditions are worse and heavy but you know, we're just really, really pleased to get to the final. So the stage is set for the men's cup final between Japan and Hong Kong. When we return, a look at how the women's side of the series concluded. Don't go away. Welcome back to Colombo. The women arrived in Sri Lanka having played only the single event in Seoul due to conflicts with the Women's World Cup in Ireland just prior to the series' first leg. The Japanese women won that event in a 19-14 nail-biter over China to go top of the series points table. Kazakhstan handled Hong Kong easily in the third and fourth place playoff and will need to finish in the top two here to have any chance at a World Cup bid. Following a fairly straightforward quarter-final round, Kazakhstan found itself in a do-or-die situation against Japan in the first semi-final. Unfortunately for Kazakhstan, Japan were in no mood for charity. The Central Asians were able to keep it close in treacherous conditions, but last year's series winners went up through Hirano and Susumi and never looked back. そうですね。あの、ま、まずトップ 2 the Kazakhstan loss assured China of a World Cup slot prior to their semi final meeting with Thailand, who made the last four on the back of a win over Hong Kong in the quarters. China raced out to a three tries to nil lead thanks to Yu Zhao Ming and Chen Ku Yi, absorbing two late tries from Thailand to end the win. 在亚洲呢，日本队是我们的老对手了，在国际上我们这两年中国队出去的机会比较少。那么我也没想特别很久很久了，也想特别出去能够跟啊实际的一些强队能够去过过招，找找我们的差距在哪里，然后我们再回来
It's miserly. Pativa Kalolo gets taken on the outside. Comes back at her. It was Liu Yang. And they are just pinning the Japanese, the Chinese down in their own 22. And eventually the mistake comes. It turns into a penalty. Here goes Anna Kuwai. Hirano. She's been on fire this tournament. Gives it out to Okaroda. And defense has turned into attack. They have suffocated the Chinese for phase after phase. Kalolo again. Look at them working the short side here. It's 15 style side rugby tactics, but they've turned it over. Here come China. Well into extra time here of the first half. Susumi comes across. That's a good change of direction by Tang Min Ling. Hirano with the tackle, and she again makes another heroic tackle. Does Yumi Hirano, and she saved the situation there. She's been going hard all day. What a first half of rugby. Here comes Hirano. She slices through. Gets around the last defender with ultimate ease. Beats two more. Hirano, Yumi Hirano looks for her mate Susumi. And she's going to go around Wang. Beats Wang to the corner. And Yumi Hirano has come from nowhere in this series. China with five and a half minutes to score twice. And this is a good start. Here comes Yu Xiaoming charging down the middle of the field. That had to go to hand. This is where they might prosper in the broken play. Look at that for a pass straight out in front of Tang Mingling. She's got the wide leg stance. She's going to canter in and Hirano can't stop her. Okoroda takes on Liu Yuanwan. My goodness, what a great run. Nagata over the top. Here's a chance. Nakamura, Bativa Kololo. Susumi's out wide. They don't want to throw a crazy intercept pass. The bell's gone. Do they just stick it out or do they try to score? I Nakamura says it's it all over. She takes the decision there. Skipper, what a performance from her. えっと、ま、今日決勝の前のあのミーティングとかウォーミングアップからあの選手もあのチームがすごく集中したんで、あのま、厳しい試合になると思ったんですけど、あの必ずま勝ってくれるっていうような中こう確信みたいなものはあります
Here goes Brian straightening. Brian straightening. Motomura has to make another tackle. There's covered out. Gives Motomura the big neck roll, probably. And Rodden doesn't like it. It's a yellow card. That happened very quickly. You can't do that. So covered out to the naughty chair. They just couldn't hold on to the end. Noguchi on the wraparound. Wrong foot's Rimini. Gets through him. There's no sweeper because they're down to six. JM won't catch them. And well worked by this young man. Yoshihiro Noguchi. Coverdale still in the bin. Jamie Hood puts the fingers up for the kick through. Doesn't go his way. Here is Noguchi. Look at him go. He's eating up the meters. He looks outside him. He sees the clean shirt of Kano. He looks back for the inside pass. Who's there? Toby Finn. Takes him high and takes him early, maybe. And then Rodden's happy with it. Styles from the base. Three minutes remaining. Hong Kong got a score soon. And there's a card coming here for a head high tackle from Rodden. Styles now, here's an opportunity for Hong Kong. They must score now. Here comes Yu back on the cut, looks for Styles. He cuts back in. There's plenty of white shirts in front. Rimini's there, Mays is there. He gets blindsided. Here we go, Kane Boko, he's gonna go over. And there's nothing that Mariki Reed can do about it. Time is up on our clock. We must have been running ahead of ourselves. Styles to feed, and he's the one who says we're not going to go 80. We'd prefer extra time. Here we go. Early possession for Hong Kong. They're on the halfway. Mays swings one out to Rimini. He tells Styles to stay out wide. He's going to get swallowed up by two players. Mays arrives. Brian to Hood. Does he use the boot? No. Puts it out in front of you. It's a nice one to run onto. And coming in like a big monster is Tukiri and gets the arms up to look huge. I can't believe that's not a knock on. Play on. Here goes Brian. Seb Brian takes on the last line. Can he shrug off Nakano? He does. This young man has nailed it for Hong Kong. Look at the joy. The whole group have worked hard, that's the bottom line. The whole group has worked hard and the boys were lucky enough to get selected. The 12 were being selected to come here. Really did the boys were back home justice and, and performed really, really well. And they need to start believing themselves, I believe, because you know they've won a good tournament there and to beat Japan twice in the same tournament is a great achievement. So much drama coming in, but finally, Asia's perennial powers did just enough to retain their places atop the region's rankings winning World Cup places in the process. Sri Lanka played its best rugby of the series, taking out a clearly disappointed Korea, 22-5 in the third fourth place playoff. The high performance portion of the 2017 season has come to a close. The Japanese men and women reign supreme. Hope you'll join us again in 2018.